I really hope he comes. <laughs> yeah, we can't do this without a friend because he's done this a few times. We haven't. Unless I start really going down and deep on those YouTube videos on how to do it. But we're making one right now so you don't have to do that anymore. Yeah. And we're beginners, so it's from a similar point of view. It's not like, you just like flip this around and do that and then you, and you're done. Hello, lovely people. Just wait for me. Hi. Hi. Today, we are doing our yearly oil change. And we're going to take you along with us step by step of the way so that if you don't know what you're doing, we got you. We got you. So. First, we're going to show you the stuff that we got. Um, this is the oil that we got. Five liters of it. Five liters of it. We're going to be needing like 3.7. We have a universal M25. We got the SAE 10W30. Some websites recommended 10W40, but um, when we were at the store, they told us it doesn't really make a difference, 10W30 or 40. And even though we didn't know, this actually was the same oil that our previous owner had. We found an old bottle on mm -hmm. our boat. We got our filters because Catalina recommends that you change the filters every time you're changing the oil. So we got our filters. We got three different ones. One is the oil filter. We got the Fram Extra Guard and this is the code. Apparently the number matters when you're trying to buy these stuff. So. Remember we'll the put number. the description and what yeah. these things are in the description below. There we go. There you go. That's the diesel filter we got and then... Secondary. Secondary diesel filter. This is our primary diesel filter that we got. It's a R24T it says. That's what we have. Of course we have some funnel and paper towel. So let's prep the boat and get this party on the road. Let's go. And then we need to start looking where the stuff is. This here is the breaker filter. Okay, so we need to change that. Yes, we need to change that. So this is the fuel pump and that goes into this filter here. We found the Fram filter. That is our oil filter. So that's the one that we'll be replacing today. And we also found our diesel filter right here. We first had to turn the engine on so that the oil warms up and runs smoother and so it's easier to replace. We then had to put the pump where the oil dipstick goes to pump out the oil. No, it's a little bit in now, it's stuck. Great. <laughs> it's stuck? It's stuck. <laughs> Great. No. Oh, oh. Googling will happen oh. from here. It'll be a sort of a slipping sound. Huh. And once all the oil was pumped out, it was time to put new oil in. Really cool trick that kid just told us is to just poke a hole through, yep, the, through the middle. That's middle, it. and then there you go. It doesn't go everywhere. All right, that's cool. And then how do you know it's enough? You've got the dipstick, so you can check it. Yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. Instead of that way, you don't get much of an angle. All right. But if you do it from this side, yes. you'll get a better tip on it. So it this feels side. backwards. Okay, backwards, okay. Yeah. Maybe. Let's use a bigger yeah. funnel, as I've got it here. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, Just, let that's me double a better. Yeah. There you go. Beautiful. Hold on. <laughs> you, you got this. You're doing it. Yep. Yeah. You got this. Okay, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Maybe a little bit more. That's good. It's That's already exactly in the middle. Looks like it's halfway yes. up. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe like just a tad more. Yeah, it doesn't have to go to the top of the fill. Yeah, it just that has to be in the it middle. Doesn't because then you know where the line is and how yeah. much oil is. Because if you put too much in, you have to take it out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, we didn't take out off the oil filter. But a new so, thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Learn from <laughs> us, don't make this mistake. So, newbie mistake. We took all the old oil out, and then we got so excited. That's and right. we put all the new oil in, and then we realized <laughs> we forgot to change the oil filter. How embarrassing. So, now we have to take all the new oil out <laughs> so that it's, it's empty now, again. Now we know the way, so it's gonna be faster. 
And then, once the oil is out again, we then do the oil filter, and then we put the oil back in. And so we took all the new oil out and started replacing our oil filter. I can't get it out this way. Welcome to boating. You realize they put the engine in and then they put the top of the boat on top of that. Yeah. So if I unscrew this now, yep. it'll gush or it'll well, trickle? Well, I don't or? know about gush, but it's certainly going to seep. But seep enthusiastically, let's call it. It'll seep enthusiastically. Yeah. I need to use a clampy thing. Clampy thing? Uh-oh. Clampy thing. Here we go. I don't, have, I don't have any leverage in there. Technical term. But... Clampy thing doesn't work with a cup underneath. <laughs> of course not. Oh, I'm gonna. Righty tidy, lefty loosey, right? Yep. Yes. Lefty loosey. Is this the right way? No, this is the right way. Lefty loosey. Lefty loosey. You're just making it tighter. It. Yes, 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 people. I was just tightening it. <laughs> <laughs> I've cut my finger. Just. Welcome to okay, yes. Movement! We have movement! Yay! Why did they make it so tight? Then no mic was so strong. I've actually seen people drive an, a nail into them and then pull on the nail. To oh! Get oh. And just unscrew it and take it upside down. Yeah, that's all you can do. Oh, there we go. <sighs> boy. Victory! Well done. Victory! <laughs> <laughs> what you'll do now is get some of the oil off that with your fingers. Get your oily fingers all over that and then stuff it back in. Every time you get one, you get a fresh okay. showering. Cool. But it's important to make it good and oily. So it slips on. Okay. And then you can pop that baby in there and then screw them back on. All right. Thankfully, nothing uh, no, ripped no, out of there. No, no gushing? No seeping? Looks like we emptied it nicely. Yeah. That's not pouring out then. Yeah. Right. You got a Pontiac. So just can tighten the knit. Gonna take this off next year, so. Soon find out. <laughs> and once we had our new oil filter oh in, we started pouring the new oil in. Third time's a charm. <laughs> the trim below is good. You know, avoid the line is the, the word from most people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's super clean. Yeah, keep it below the line. Nice, 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 nice. After only a few hours, and what mistrial? We've done it. We've changed the oil. Thank it. changed the oil filter thanks to this man. Thank Yay. you so much. The invoice is in the mail. <laughs> now comes the messier part, I think. Right? It is. So let's get the filters off. Did you want to do this one first? Mm -hmm. So we can do that one first? Yeah, sure. Don't we can do that one before Do that it doesn't, one? doesn't matter. Oh, really? No, doesn't matter at all. Again, Lefty Lucy and uh, lots of spill cloth. Lots of spill cloth. Is the fuel gonna run out? A little, yeah. There's fuel. Oh, yeah, it gushes. Okay, now just put the new one on. You need to grease up the oil up the, um, the O ring. Do you need oil in there? No, 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 same. Just diesel. Just diesel. All you need diesel to is. Pass it up. No. Light. 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 It's like a surgery. Yep. Light. Scalpel clamps. Scalpel. And so we Strength put the pressure. secondary fuel filter on and moved on to the primary <laughs> fuel filter. I wonder if the size is same. The well, one that we got. I'm not going to know until you pull it apart, I'm afraid. Yeah. Oh well, if it doesn't, we'll just. Yeah, just get another one. Send. That's yes. okay. There we go. So. There's a stop clock under there, under the base, thinking that it might be an idea to drain it. How does it go? Is it just a turning? Yep, thing? just a little turning. Yeah. Ideally, drain it to, to get it apart. Yeah? Okay, well, no matter. Do it later. This just feels very, a lot smaller. Oh, I got it. And it's dripping stuff out. The good news is, if there's any water in there, it would be at the bottom. Okay, almost. Okay. Oh, well, nice. That wasn't too bad. The top has to come off in some way. This, this top part here. Yeah. Or, oh yeah, or, the, or drop the bottom out, one or the other. Maybe get a, a screwdriver in there and crack the uh, seal between the two. Okay, there we go, it's moving. Is that right? Well done. Nice. Okay, good. Yeah, I just need to, getting it out is cool. It's fine, even if it drips, we'll just. Oh yeah, some knob it up. Yeah. Bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Ah, there we go. Uh, we got the primary filter out, well but done. it turned out that we did buy the wrong size. I'll go mine. 
Hey friends, I am back on the boat after our mishap with the diesel filter. I got a new one. This time it's the right one. Here we go. A doll 101. So now, just have to install it, bleed the air out of the engine, start it. The prep kit is coming to help. It'll be here any minute now and then we'll get this show on the road. Random cables everywhere. Ah, uh, yes. Well, that was easy. And with that, we put the primary fuel filter back on and the job was complete. That's pretty solid on there. Cool. Cool. Lubricated. <laughs> I guess I'll cut that Stop out. Now. Things are getting R-rated here. <laughs> well, Kids, if you're watching this, just turn off the volume. You no, know, I know what the the thumbnail is. <laughs> Screwing, <laughs> sucking and lubing. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Welcome to sailing. Oh 